Good morning, everyone. Today we're gonna to be getting ready together. We're gonna to be doing an all drugstore bronzy, summery, glowy look. It's gonna be super easy, I promise. And I've got a bunch of new goodies from the drugstore, either brand new to me or brand new to the market including the new e.l.f. Bite Size Cheek Palettes. So a couple of these things I've tried out maybe once, but this is gonna be kinda like some brand new first impressions on several other items. I also have a new set of brushes from Sigma. These are their air brushes, their duo fiber brushes. So we're gonna be trying those out, see how those work. So if you wanna get ready together, pull out your goodies and let's go ahead and get started. For my eyeshadow primer, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Putty Primer, and I always forget what color I have. Oh, cream. So it looks a lot like the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. It doesn't have quite as much pigment, but you'll see it does really help kind of disguise the veins on the lid, and it does a pretty good job of holding my eyeshadow in place all day. I think I still prefer the Milani eyeshadow primer to this. But. All right, now while that sits, we're gonna address the face. And I've played with this a couple times. I think part of it is the shade is a little bit light for me right now, but I think we'll warm it up with some bronzer, but just still formulating thoughts. This is the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Silk Foundation Elixir with Jojoba Oil. So I have the shade, what do I have? Medium. And when my best friend and I were shopping for this, we were in Target and it looked like there were only like four or five shades. There might be more online, but this was the one that kind of had the most yellow kind of based tone to it. It has a dropper. You can see it's pretty liquidy, which I kind of like because the goal of this makeup look is just something very light and fresh. I'm gonna work it in first with my fingers. And I do already have sunscreen on my face. I have um, kind of a mixture of two, the Paula's Choice and the First Aid Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. So let's just see how this blends over the top of those. So it works in pretty quickly with your hands. Okay, so I wanna add just a little bit more in a couple of spots. And I'm going to go in with a little bit of a denser buffing brush. This is the Luxie Round Top Blender. And I'm just gonna kind of press this in, see if I can get a little more coverage in a couple areas. Now I'm gonna take the domed buffer brush. This is the F74 Air from Sigma. I'm just gonna buff lightly over the areas where I have pores and just see if I can kind of create a little more of a lighter look, pick up kind of any excess product. All right, we're gonna let that sit for now. I know it's quite a bit lighter than my neck is, but that's okay, we're gonna bronze up later. So let's go back to the eyes. I picked up two more of the e.l.f. Bite Size eyeshadow palettes. This one is, oh goodness, the tiniest little printing. Okay, this is Pumpkin Pie, which has two shimmers, two mattes, and then I also picked up Berry Bad, which I had looked at the first time and I should have just picked it up because these are just my kind of colors. Now this one also has two mattes and two shimmers. And then I pulled out the one that I had previously, which is cream and sugar, just because I need to borrow a few shades from here. So for $9, I have basically 12 shadows to work with. So we're gonna kind of make our own little eyeshadow palette today. So starting off with this cream shade right here, just going to put this along the brow bone. We're not gonna do anything crazy, but I just wanna show you a couple shades from each of the palettes. Cause we're keeping this nice and easy. All right, now I'm going to combine, let's see, these two matte shades. So this one has a little more pink and this one is kind of a pumpkin brown. This one's just a little too deep on its own. So I'm gonna mix those two, just kind of tapping my brush into both of those tapping off and now we're going to just swirl this into the crease of the eye. And 
And I am going to take this kind of around the edge as well. Go in with just a slight bit more of the pink on its own. Okay, pretty easy to blend. They are powdery, you're gonna get fallout, but they're nice. They seem to perform pretty well. Now when my palettes arrived, this one was completely shattered, so I had to fix it. That's why it looks a little different, but it still works. So I'm gonna go into that one now with my finger. It's a really pretty bronze shade. I'm going to place this um, from almost the inner corner, not quite there, all the way across the lid. We're gonna stay just below the crease. And I'm not gonna take it all the way to the outer corner, just a little bit shy of the outer corner there. And then now I'm going to combine the dark, the two dark mattes in these palettes. So I'm gonna go into this dark brown one, which has a little more cooler tones. And then this one, which has just a tiny little bit of burgundy, I'm gonna use the Morphe M433. So I'm gonna go in first with the dark brown and just work a little bit of that in the outer corner here and take it about midway through the crease. And even though it's dark brown, it doesn't pack on too much pigment at once. So I kind of like that, it's a little user friendly. And then I'm gonna go into the burgundy shade, add just a touch of that right around the edge. And I think those two combined just make such a pretty color. Go back with the M504, no extra product, just go around the edge there. For liner, I pulled out the L'Oreal Infallible long, uh, Pro Last Longwear Eye Pencil and I have the shade Bronze. Now, what I like about using, uh, this is kind of has a little bit of shimmer and I just think this looks a little more natural. It's not quite as harsh. It does give some definition at the lash line here but when you have a shimmery shade right there, it kind of just blends into it. So you don't really even have to use a brush to blend it in. So that's why I chose this one today. And I'm going to go just halfway across the upper lash line. And then as I get to the outer corner, I'm thickening that line, going out just a little beyond the edge of my eye, not much and then just dragging the pencil back. And the other good thing about it being shimmery on top of shimmer eyeshadow is you don't have to be too precise either. I'm gonna take that a little bit along the lower lash line as well, just pretty close to the lashes, about halfway, and then just take my finger and smudge that. Before I go any further, I need something on my lips. This is from Honest Beauty, and this is the shade Lychee Fruit, and it's just one of their, does it say what it is? It's their Tinted Lip Balm. Feels very nice and smooth on the lips. Okay, so we are going to add an inner corner highlight, but not until after concealer. So I'm going to clean up under the eyes with my almond oil, and then we will continue with concealer. Under eye concealer, I'm gonna use the Neutrogena Radiant Cream Concealer, and I have the shade Bisque Light Medium. This is probably just a touch light once I get all my bronzer on, but hey, it'll be good. Now this is actually a really nice formulation. It's not full coverage, which if you're using kind of a lighter weight foundation is kind of what you want. So I'm just gonna use this also just to kind of brighten up the center of the face and add a little more coverage here. And then I'm going to start off, I'm going to tap it in with my fingers and then I'll blend it in with a brush. I'm gonna go back to that F74 Air brush and just use that to kinda just smooth out the edges of that concealer. Yeah, that worked nicely. And then I'm just tapping under the eye. So this isn't as dense of a brush as the Morphe G2, but I kind of like how that blended the edges of that concealer really softly. Okay, 
I've tried this several times and I really love it. This is the Physicians Formula Organic Wear Dewy Blush Elixir with Superfruits. So the Organic Wear line does have a lot of really good ingredients in it. This is the shade, did I get, oh yes, Gorgeous Peach. So it's a pretty deep peach shade though. Let me show you and oh my goodness, you really do not need much. So there it is. What I'm gonna do is I am first going to just spread this out, tap it off, and that's probably more than I'm going to need for my face, but I'm gonna use my finger first, apply it to the apple of the cheek, and then I'm gonna go in with this other airbrush. This is the F80 Air, and I'm going to just use that to now tap that into the skin. And what's nice about using a duo fiber brush is it's not going to pick up the foundation underneath as much. If you go in with too dense of a brush, it can disturb your makeup underneath, so that's not good. All right, and I'm gonna go a little, a little brighter initially because I do need to powder a little bit, so it's gonna look maybe a little more intense at first. For powder, I am using this one from e.l.f. and it is, I hate they don't have any labels on their stuff, but this is their clay powder. I'll link it down below, but it's completely translucent, but this is really good at holding oil at bay. But I don't wanna take down all of the glow too much by packing on too much of the powder all over. So I'm gonna first start with the BK Beauty 102. I'm just gonna just very lightly apply some of this and then I'm going to go down to the detailed brush this is the 108 from BK Beauty and I'm going to use this just to press into the areas where I have larger pores that foundation it's not over accentuating them but I know it's going to break down before too long because it's going to be a very hot day here today actually for the next several days so I'm just going to make sure I lock in my foundation in these oily zones. Okay, so I've let the concealer sink in a little bit. You can see I need maybe just a little more coverage. I'm gonna add a little more here before I set it in place. To set the under eye, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. under eye setting powder, and this is the shade Banana. So this is gonna give me just a little extra coverage, and I'm gonna use the Sedona Lace 313 brush to just tap on a tiny little bit of that. All right, let's warm up the face. Okay, so as I mentioned, I do have the new Revlon Skin Lights bronzer, prismatic bronzer, and I have the darker shade. It's Sunkissed Beam, number 115. It's kind of funny because when you first swatch it, it doesn't look too dark, but on the back of my hand, I was able to build up a little more color. The formulation, it's really smooth. There's no glitter. It does kind of remind me of the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzers, but we're gonna start off with this and see if we can get enough color. So I'm gonna use the BK Beauty 103, swirl that on, and I am going to use this as my bronzer today and also to just darken the overall look of the face to see if we can get it to match my neck. <laughs> I'm gonna do just half the face and see if we can tell a difference. You can see, I mean, I am applying quite a lot of product, but it's not putting too much on my skin. So it's a very user-friendly, very buildable bronzer. So if you are new to using a bronzer, this could be a really good formula for you. Okay, so what do we think? I think you can see a difference when you put a little more here in the center. So you can see this side of the face just looks a little more bronzed and it does have a little more contour around the edge, but it's not crazy. So even though this is the darker of the two shades, it's 
not real deep. Okay, so I'm feeling like I'm a little closer in matching my neck tone. I'm gonna add though just a little extra contour. I'm gonna use the Physician's Formula um, Butter Bronzer in Sculpting. This is the Sculpting shade. And I'm gonna use the F05 from Sigma. And I'm just going to add a little extra definition here. Also gonna take that along the jawline and then a little bit along the hairline as well. Little nose contour here. And I'll go back with that brush and just kind of make sure everything's seamless. All right, so we're getting we're getting tanner by the second. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna go into the Bite Size Cheek Palettes from e.l.f. I have four of them, and I can't remember if there are six or eight, but as I was shopping online, it was really difficult to tell what color the highlighters were. It was easier to tell the color of the blush shades. Now the blush shades in each palette are matte, and then you have a shimmer highlight. Online, it looks like there could be kind of the same highlighter maybe in a couple palettes, but the four that I have, they're all slightly different. So I'm gonna show you um, this one, and I love the names, they're all fruity kind of names. So this one's Coconut. So this one I thought would be a good contour shade or bronzer, but I'm gonna show you how deep this is. So this is that Coconut shade, and I'll show it on the face in a moment. It does have quite a bit of red tones when you put it on the cheeks, and it's very, pigmented. So that is this one. And then I swatched all of the highlighter shades so that you can see them side by side and see just the slight little differences. So again, this is coconut and then this is the highlighter it's paired with. And it has gold undertones, but this one has chunky bits of glitter. The rest of them are much smoother formula, but this one is kind of rougher in texture as well. It's not my favorite. Then we have the next one, which is this. This one is white peach, and that blush shade, really nice peach tone. I think it was appropriately named. And then this is its highlighter, and the highlighter has a tiny little bit of peach, but it's a nice, smooth formula. Then we have, what is this? Lychee. <laughs> same name as my lip balm. Um, and this one is this paler pink, a really nice neutral color. And then this is the highlighter and you can see the highlighter has pink in it. So it has a pink tone. It's still light enough to show up as a highlighter, but I think you are going to see a little hint of pink rosiness on that highlight shade. And then this last one is pomegranate. I love this color, it's so pretty. It is more of a cooler, bright pink. And then this is its matching highlighter. And again, this one does have a little bit of pink, but it's almost like a mix of these two. It kind of has just a hint of a little more warmth than this one does. All right, so I wanna show you a couple of these. So we're just gonna layer products on. But um, this one, since it is so pigmented, I'm going to use the Sigma F53 Air Contour Blush Brush. That's always hard for me to say. And I'm going to just pick up a little bit of this. And what's good about a duo fiber brush, see how very little it picked up. If you go in with a dense brush, it's going to completely cover the whole area of the brush. So I'm going to use this to just lightly sweep a little bit. Now, do you see how much red is in this tone. So I started to use this yesterday to contour and I was like, oh no, it's way too red. So it's pretty, it is a very pretty tone, but again, a very little goes a long way. So a little tap with a duo fiber brush. And this brush is really nice. I've used it with cream products before, but not with powder. And I actually really like it with the powder products. Gives you a little more control over how much you're applying to your face. So if you have super pigmented blushes or <laughs> bronzers, you can use this to just kind of help diffuse that a little bit. So that's a pretty color. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit up here, just like where the sun would hit. 
So even though I'm showing you multiple products, you obviously don't need to use all of these products. So I'm just giving you some options. If you are happy with just the cream blush and the bronzer, use that. But I do wanna just show a few of these applied. So um, again, the highlighter in this is not my favorite, but hey, that's okay. Um, I think for my other blush today, I'm gonna show you just a little bit of this white peach, and I'm gonna go ahead and just use that same brush and just brush a little bit of that. So now we've got like five colors on our cheeks here. <laughs> but I think it's a really pretty, ooh, pretty healthy bronzy look, right? That's what we're going for. Okay. Now for highlighter. I'm going to actually use this one from Revlon. This is the Skin Lights. And this is interesting. When I first swatched it and put it on my skin, let me show you, I'll show it below this one. So it looks pretty gold. And at first glance, I mean, you can see little tiny bits of shimmer particles, but then as you blend it in, it becomes like one with the skin and actually takes on a very natural glow. So I was happy to see that because at first I was not a fan and then I thought, oh, that blended in rather nicely. So I'm going to take the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighting brush and I'm going to just put a little bit of that, tap off. Okay, so when we first apply, you can see it just kind of sits on top of the skin but I'm going to now buff it in. And I feel like it just becomes a little more one with the skin and just looks a lot more natural, natural and glowy. All right, let's finish off the eyes. I'm gonna go back to the cream and sugar palette because this has a really nice inner corner highlight shade, very brightening. So I'm going to tap that right on the inner corner and then we're going to kind of overlap that lid shade a little bit. Don't worry if you go over it too much. We're gonna just kind of blend those two colors together. I'm gonna take the Sigma E30, just kind of go over that, blend that shade into our lid shade. I'm gonna go back one more time and just add a little more of this bronze shade here. All right, let's add some brows now. And this is not new to me, but it's been a long time since I've used it. It's the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, and I have the shade Ash Brown. I've had this one in my stash for quite a while. It was a brand new pencil, so I hadn't yet opened it, but been a while since I've used this color, so I might have to use a light hand, but you know I love the Precision Brow Pencil, which is the uh, wider tip one, but we're gonna try this one for now and just see. Um, I don't want anything too harsh or too bold in the brows, so I'm gonna use a very light hand just to kind of outline the bottom. And then also, Take this along the top just to give myself a little more of an arch here. Okay, I don't think that looks too dark. I'm just going to kind of brush through the front part here, soften that a little bit. And as I mentioned earlier, because it's gonna be so hot and I don't want my brows to melt off, I'm gonna use the Alme Brow Styler and I have the shade Light Brown and it looks like it's gonna be really super light, but it's got a decent amount of color, so I don't think I would want anything darker. All right, let's add some mascara. I'm gonna curl my lashes and then I'm gonna use my drugstore favorite pair. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer and the L'Oreal Lash Paradise.
right, so we've got nice full looking lashes and we need something now on our lips. So I'm going to wipe off my lip balm and go around the edge with a little bit of the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. And again, this just helps keep the lip liner, the lip products in place longer, keeps them from feathering outside the lip line. For lip liner, I was going to use this new one I just picked up yesterday. It's from Essence. It's the Stay Lip Liner, eight hours, and this does stay in place really well, but this shade is just a little too pink. Let me show you over here. So um, it just on the lips had a little bit too much of a cool pink tone and kind of need something a little warmer. So pulled out an oldie but a goodie. This is the Milani color statement lip liner in the shade Spice. And I think Walmart is the only one that sells this particular shade. Okay, and then just gonna tap the edge of that because our lip product is a gloss. So this is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. It has hyaluronic acid in it. And I showed this in my June vlog. My best friend and I shopped together and I picked this up. This is the shade Topaz. And the doe foot applicator, even the formulation of this is oddly similar to the Fenty Beauty um, gloss bombs, I think is what they're called. And the scent on these, slightly sweet um, and a little bit maybe minty, but it's not a very strong scent at all. But you can see it does have quite a bit of color, just a tiny hint of sparkle. I mean, nothing really you can hardly even see on the lips. You can see a little bit in the tube if you hold it up to the light, but let me swatch a little bit of this on my hand. So there you go, that's it right there. They do taste really nice. Not that you should eat your lip gloss, but you know, if inadvertently you happen to taste it, it's kind of nice. All right, so here is our finished look. And I really love the overall concept of this look. I love the bronzy eye, nothing too dark or dramatic. I love the glowy look on the face and just kind of that, that healthy color on the cheeks. And overall, I would say I'm pretty pleased with most everything I used. One thing that I just don't think I get along with well is the Physicians Formula Organic Wear Foundation. I think if you have dry skin, you'll probably like this, but on my combination skin, my textured skin, I just feel like it just kind of highlights pores and my lines a little bit and it does get glowy pretty quickly. But if you've got dry skin, you might want to check that out. Um, and then the other thing I think that was just a little bit of a disappointment was um, the highlight shades in the bite size cheek palettes. Um, a couple of them I like, but this one in particular, the chunky texture of it, I don't like. However, I do feel like the matte blushes in each of these, I think they're really smooth and good quality. So I think that's the best part of these. And then of course, I've enjoyed the bite size eyeshadow palettes. You don't get a ton of product in each pan, but you're getting four shadows, four new colors for three bucks. I really enjoy these, the Revlon Skin Lights products, and um, I enjoyed playing with some new brushes too. I think my favorite two are these from this collection. I think this one I'm going to get a lot of use out of. Just it's nice to have something to really kind of blend in, especially at the end of your makeup look. You can just use it to blend your cheek color. If you get a little crazy with your blush, you can use these. And then of course, loved this so this was a big winner um the lip gloss is nice but it's not real sticky so it doesn't stick around a real long time and it doesn't feel plumping on the lips so um you know i'll continue to use it but i hope overall you enjoyed this video it's fun to see some new drugstore products as always i will list and link all the products i used in this video right down below in the description box and thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate your support. 
And if you're not already subscribed, please hit that button below and I'll see you next time. Bye.